All right, so it's a data sufficiency problem. It's actually number 37. I didn't write that down. So if you look at clue one only, x plus y is 15. We just got too many choices. You could let, you know, x could be 1 and y could be 14. Or x could be 2 and y could be 13. So clue one doesn't work yet. Too many possibilities. Clue two the square root of xy equals 6, same deal. You know, x could be, that means you could have a 3 and a 2, or you could have negative 3, negative 2, or you could have whatever, 1 and 6, negative 1, negative 6, that doesn't work. So neither one work independently. So you need to put both clues together. So let's put this one and this one together, and let's see what we get, and it's going to work out. Because we can take this top equation and we can solve it for y. y would be 15 minus x. And then substitute that in the second equation. So that would be the square root of x times y, which is 15 minus x equals 6. So that would be the square root of 15x minus x squared equals 6 and then square both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical. So that would be 15x minus x squared equal 36. It's a quadratic equation, get zero on one side, move everything to the right. I move everything to the right because I want my leading coefficient to be positive. x squared minus 15x minus 36. And then if you factor x, x, and that's going to be 12 and 3, and at 12 and a 3, yes. And we want both of them to be, uh, what? If I, that's positive 36. We want both of them to be negative, and that works. And then you set each one of these equal to 0, so you get x equals 12 and x equals 3. So, if x equals 12, we're basically done now. The answer is going to be C. But I want to make sure you understand, if x is 12, if you go back to clue 1, x plus 12, x plus y equal 15, that would be 12 plus y equal 15. Um, is that right, x? Yeah. 12 plus y equal 15, so that means y would be 3. And see, that's my other value there. And then if I had x plus y equal 15, if I let x be 3, I get 3 plus y equal 15, y equals 12. There was some confusion on how you would know, you know, which value, but you've answered the question.